What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel Short Slabs. This is Tyler here and I have a very very good video for you guys. Um, it is going to be a continuation of my mail weeks and months, days. Uh, I have a lot more uh, mail to go through so let's jump right into it just to show you guys what I'm buying to send in to get graded uh, as well as to hopefully speculate on and increase in value over the next couple of months. No basketball season is coming to an end so by the time i get a lot of these things back the values will change one way or the other but that's the beauty of grading right so if you grade cards you can increase the value and that increase in value can be buffered or offset by market increases and decreases for the raw card value so uh, i really don't care what happens to the market over the next couple of months as long as everything grades out well so um, but at the same time, I'm also buying things that I think that people will want, uh, including Kobe rookies. Right now, everybody is all about some Kobe rookies, especially if you have a Topps rookie. Goodness gracious. Um, iconic image, there's only 2,000 of those Topps rookies graded, but then if you look at some of his other rookies, notably... All right, yeah. So if you guys look at um, some of the other Kobe cards out there, especially this UD3 rookie... Uh, does very very well this card uh, does very well um, grades pretty easily it's gonna be hard to grade even though this is like a, a 24 year old card at this point um, still uh, in gradable condition PSA 9s and PSA 10s do very very well so Kobe is a guy who I've been buying some stuff of um, rookies not not just rookies but base cards you know all the way around and Kevin Durant. So you all saw uh, one of my previous videos. I got a Topps Chrome rookie. This one, um, I really think that some of his prison parallels, if you look at the prison parallels of some of the other stars that have taken off, especially LeBron, Giannis, etc., there's not really a lot going on with KD. But man, this is the... <laughs> mine. This right here, Tiger Stripe. Whew. Pretty solid. So again, I'm not a big fan of Prism overall, but I'm because there's just a lot of it printed out there. But the base cards, uh, the the parallels, the parallels are fantastic. Really, really cool parallels, and I'm a big fan of those. I don't know how many of these are. I honestly haven't looked. That's the first Tiger Stripe that I've ever gotten, and it's a pretty cool card. So in my mail days, for those of you who are just joining the video, you're going to see a random hodgepodge of everything. There's going to be low-end cards. There's going to be high-end cards. There's going to be cards that may sell for a dollar. I mean, I buy everything that I think that I will be able to see value in um, whenever it gets graded. So that is why you're seeing all the different things on camera that you see. And this is probably a lot different from some of the people that you see on YouTube. Um, you know, I, I go after value. I don't necessarily go after one player or you know, I see value in players, obviously, but I also see value in cards and card types, different sets, etc. So uh, one of my last videos you all saw, I bought one of these golds. This is another gold that I got uh, as long as, as well as the base card. Um, so I'm a big, big fan of those. Wasn't before, but now I am. <laughs> Definitely wasn't before. I'm not a big fan of that card, but now I am. All right. So we got a Kobe Finest. Uh, no penny sleeve and all. We'll take it. So this will be fun removing from the top loader without damaging. Uh, it looks like it got put in the top loader without damaging. Oh, it does have penny sleeve. Okay, it does have one. Sorry, 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 seller. I didn't show you on here, but I apologize. I see it. Just hard to see. Actually runs right up to the top edge, which is why I couldn't see it. So yeah, uh, Kobe Finest cards. I'm going pretty hard on Kobe Finest cards. Uh, why Finest? Well, Topps Chrome is speculated out of existence, and Finest is the next best thing, really. Uh, for a couple of years. There's a couple of years where there's actually a better alternative. Um, Topps Pristine is a, a higher-end better alternative, and I do have a couple of those. You might see a couple of those coming in, but... Yeah, Finest is pretty sharp. Really like Finest. It's, an, it's the OG set. So people need to give it its respect. Topps Chrome wasn't the first. Panini definitely wasn't the first. They weren't the first. Um, so have respect for the originator, which is Topps uh, Finest. Okay, beautiful. Nice. Kawhi's. These things are unbelievable in PSA 10 grade. I hope that one of these guys is in good enough shape to be a PSA 10. 
I really, really, really do. And I have a real, oh my gosh, I got a really good buy the other day. Uh, I'm not even going to, let's just say it's 2012 hoops related. Um, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with it. Uh, I don't want to give away the secrets of what I got, but you'll see it in one of the upcoming mail days, maybe in about a month or so. So I, w I won't be able to post it for about a month. So yeah, sorry to drop that knowledge and not really say anything about it, but I'm very excited with what I bought. All right, so let's see how these guys look. Um, if we look at this Kawhi, to be perfectly honest, the top edge may keep it from being Jim Mint. Um, upper right corner, and then also the bottom right corner for you guys. So it's a little bit of white. It's probably not gonna Jim, and I definitely want Jim on the back. Definitely want Jim on the back. So that one's gonna be a mint copy. Might send that in my bulk because it's not going to be gem mint and it will probably qualify for a bulk. This one's also going to be a mint nine. Yep, so those are going bulk. Dang on it. It's okay. Mint nine, mint nine. Hopefully mint nine. Hopefully not lower than mint nine. But yeah, it looks like a mint nine to me. All right. Oh boy. I'm so glad this bad boy came in. 2018 Optic Contenders Orange Parallel, number to 49. So you all see the Select Orange, the Prism Orange, Contenders Optic to me is the next one. And this one was listed, I think, as a 2019, but it's actually a 2018. I, I look at all of them, but... Oh, boy. I really hope this card grades out Jim Mint. Beautiful, beautiful card. Beautiful card. Guys, I'm not done buying Patty. Don't you think for one second that just because he got expensive that I'm not done buying him. He will be on my buy list for a while. Gary Vee's not a big uh, football guy. You know, he was talking about things that are going to go up and is this the end or whatever. And he says, don't, you know, there's not a lot of uh, football opportunity. You know, I disagree. I agree with the premise of what he said. Uh, we'll go into that at a later date, but uh, he's not a big football guy. Uh, I'm... I'm different. I will certainly buy football. Uh, not all football, but I will buy Patrick Mahomes, uh, Tom Brady, and uh, maybe speculate on some of the rookies if I think that the rookies are going to be okay. But honestly, I will not buy a rookie uh, very heavily without seeing on-field performance because so much of football is its not about your talent. It is about the system. It is all about your coaching staff. Like Tua is, an, is a great quarterback. He's going to play for the Dolphins. The Dolphins are not a great organization. You know, uh, Burrow is going to play for the Bengals. Uh, he may be a great quarterback. They are not a great organization. Um, so a lot of it is just situation. And it's so hard to predict that because you can predict the talent right. But the situation is what matters. And that's what I like to really identify is the situation. And it's something coming together to be special that you could get early in on. That's the key with football. The key with football is really identifying where is something magical happening where talent matches a great organization or offensive scheme or system that just makes it work. You know, that's, that's the key. So nice Trey Young select. Sorry, I skipped that one. Didn't talk much about it. Um, Kawhi Leonard. So I got a couple Kawhis here. So you all saw the mail day that I posted for the Starburst. This is not the Starburst. I actually sold one of those Starbursts for $1,000 at auction, which was disappointing to me, really, because the base PSA 10 is not that far behind. So the Starburst didn't really do all that well. At least the first one didn't. Uh, the other one, I'm not selling that low. I at least wanted to cash in on one of them just to you know, have duplicates. No point in having two of them. Um, but at the same time, a little disappointed with the sale a little bit. All right. So here we got a stack of cards. I don't know what this is from or how to even get this bad boy open. Let's go ahead and try to open it. So let's open this guy up. Tyrus Thomas. I didn't, definitely didn't buy that. So that's going to be a freebie for somebody. Kobe Finest. All right, dude, this guy threw in all kinds of freebies. Tyrus Thomas, Tyrus Thomas, Daniel Gibson, and these are all brand new top loaders too. Kevin Garnett was a freebie. Let's see this bad boy. That's pretty sharp. 
I'll actually look and see what these graded ones go for. I'm, I might grade that. It's a freebie. So thank you to the guy uh, who sent me this Kobe. This Kobe finest is actually pretty expensive just because it's from LeBron's rookie year. Uh, it's a pretty popular set. It's a really, really popular set. Sharp card, too. Very sharp. So again, I told you guys, I'm, if you're new to the channel, you're going to see some base cards. You're going to see some big old base. You're going to hopefully see some... Uh, more expensive cards also. And I honestly cannot remember what all I bought. You know, I just buy them and then they show up and then I open them. You know, and we'll see see what happens kind of. But sometimes I don't even know that I didn't get a card. I could go back through the records every, you know, week or two and see, well, did this card get shipped out? Or, you know, did the PayPal payment have an issue? Or So, yeah, I just buy a lot of cards. All right, Bull Bowl. Bowl. Optic fast break signatures. So yeah, I dropped about a thousand bucks on Bowl Bowl. I don't know if that was a good thing or a bad thing, but I'm banking that the, there's going to be some off season hype for him, so that whenever the season begins to start and he hopefully gets some minutes. But I don't know, honestly now that Michael Porter burst on the scene, I don't know if he's going to get any minutes. He may not get any minutes. He may be trade bait, but I don't know. I mean, he shows a lot of potential. I mean, the length, the, the shooting ability for a guy that size. I mean, that's what we've been trying to get uh, Giannis to do, right? Shoot the ball. <coughs> All right, you all saw one of these previously, a Joe Burrow Lenticolor uh, 3D version. I'm a big fan of 3Ds. I do not like the non-3D versions. They're actually very hard cards to grade. So next up we've got one of these funky bubble mailers that are folded weird that i don't like to cut all right i might have got it where i can do something here with it okay so let's see uh, all right Got another Mahomes Contenders Optic MVP Contenders. This is the this is the orange parallel number to fifty, and this was all from twenty nineteen. So not twenty eighteen, but twenty nineteen. Yeah, those inserts really haven't taken off yet, but I think that over time they will be they will take off. I really do think that. Next up, again, dude, these scissors do not like these bubble mailers at all. This little. Uh, disposable ones or re whatever these are they do not like to be opened all right what do we got here uh, so this looks like another bobo some bobo prism base looks to be a pretty clean card so we'll see how that one does Then we got regular bubble mailer here. This is a smaller one, so. Nice little package slip, appreciate that. All right, Juan Soto. Yeah, I forgot that I bought one of these. So Juan Soto, man, has this guy. Uh, I feel sorry for you Acuna collectors out there. <laughs> I'm not trying to hate on Acuna at all, but Juan is the man in 2018. Mr. Juan Soto is the man. I think he's got the personality. I think he's got, he's definitely got the skill. I think he is going to be the guy of 2018. I really do. I don't feel sorry for the Acuna collectors. I mean, um, I think that Acuna is going to be okay, but I just think Soto is going to be better. I mean, he's already better, in my opinion. I mean, he's already won uh, World Series. And he was a pivotal factor in the, in the World Series. And getting to the World Series, and, um, you know, he had some big moments in the playoffs and in the World Series. So, all right. Scotch tape. Don't ruin my card. Scotch, well, not scotch tape, painter's tape. So it looks like we got some freebies here that'll go in the freebie pile for the next time the giveaway occurs. 
and try not to damage the card. That's the good thing about this uh, tape is it doesn't even damage the card on the surface. Don't advise it, but. All right, got another bull bowl. Yeah, this mail is a little behind. I bought bull bowl during the hype. I'm just now getting to open in the mail. And the bull bowl hype has died down a little bit. I get it, I get it. I don't judge. I'm telling you, PSA grades will probably be okay. There's gonna be a lot of people grading them, but uh, I think there's gonna be some buyers for some bull bowl. There will be buyers. Okay. Yeah, man, I forgot that I bought this one too. Nice, very, very nice. Okay, so what we got? We have an 83 blue card from Update for Soto. So it's pretty sharp. These are much more difficult to find. The 1983 uh, Update card. And this is the blue version, which I love this because this is, uh, it's borders, it, it's a blue variation similar to like a trout um, or a Mookie Betts or Christian Yellick or, you know, it has that history of borders and also being a parallel of a, a color. So I, I'm a big fan of those cards. I don't know why they haven't really taken off. Um, they're extremely, extremely low pop. I mean, I'm talking... What is it? Six, seven, eight thousand. One Soto update. I think it's eight thousand. PSA ten update rookies. US three hundred. Uh, there's not many of those eighty threes, and there's definitely not that many of the um, blue parallel or blue bordered cards. Obviously, everybody wants the flagship card, but man, twenty eighteen is when I well twenty seventeen I think is when the press has really just started going crazy. So um, pretty wild. <clears throat> All right, another bobo. So this one is an optic choice auto. Pretty clean, doesn't have the horizontal bar, so that one should grade well. Dude, Bobo, I hope you don't suck. Hope you actually get some minutes, get to play, get to dunk on some people, make the cards go up. That will be dope. All right, more. Stuff that is built and packaged like it is ready for Fort Knox. But, you know, I appreciate that. I definitely appreciate that. Ooh. <laughs> Which one is this? Nice. Okay, this is great. This is sharp. All right, I don't know which player this is, but it's from the set that I like. Uh, perfect. All right. This, my friends, I showed you all the Patrick Mahomes card. But here we have Mr. Tom Brady. This is from my new favorite 2020 insert set. I don't think it's going to be surpassed by any insert set. Yes, I'm biased because I have this card in the Mahomes now. But this parallel, this insert is gorgeous. So, so cool. And this card is dang near perfect. Beautiful card, man. I'm speechless. I, I love this card. Love that set. I've got another one coming in of another player, too. I think. I'm almost positive that I bought another one. At least I hope. All right. So next up, another bubble. Forgot all the bowl bowls that I bought. And that one looks to be centered well. Maybe a little off-centered top to bottom, but probably going to still be okay. Um, this is the T-Wave or Red Wave bowl bowl. I just like saying bowl bowl. Bowl bowl. Uh, this one's going to be very hard to open. That gone up. All right. So. Yep. Mangled that guy. Didn't really get much out of it, but okay, I got some freebies here. So who is this? Jim Harbaugh. All right. Yeah, Jim Harbaugh. Nice. Dude, I don't know anything about 90s football. Know nothing about 90s football cards. What is this? this is, hopefully this is not yeah, 96. <clears throat> 
Don't know much about Noni's football stuff, but those will go to somebody who is a fan. And I do know about Mahomes football cards. And I know that this is a very, very nice card. And I'm happy to have it. So this is the Phoenix card from 2018, number 149. Beautiful. I'm a big fan of Phoenix. Big fan of Phoenix. Love that set. So let's see what else we have. Oh, speak of the devil. So more Phoenix. I think this this was uh or this one yeah this Phoenix QB Vision, QB Vision number to ninety nine out of twenty nineteen. So yeah, again I really think that everything shiny Mahomes is gonna do well and Phoenix is one of those sets that I really like that and Contenders Optic. Obviously everybody's going after Prism and Optic, but um, you know there's a lot of quality control issues and a lot of those cards have already been picked over. So I'm a big Phoenix fan. Select. Um, anything shiny Mahomes I think is going to do well um, over the long haul. So let's see. It looks like more freebies are coming. And can I even open this? Let's see here. Very nice. Very nice. So Brick Lopez base, uh, Alfred Payton base, and then a Bobo silver. And then a couple of other cheapies which will be freebies all right so we got another bubble silver i think this is the second silver that i've bought so hoping that those come back in really good condition or at least a uh, good gradable condition okay bubble mailer with inside a bubble mailer let's see what this beholds Okay, so this one's packaged pretty good. Bubble mailer inside a bubble mailer with team bag and also cardboard. Zion, what we got? Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Zion choice rookie. Now let's see here. Is this bad boy centered? I don't think that it is centered. It's a lot more off center than I thought whenever I looked in the pictures. But this is going to be a hard card to um, get graded regardless. The centering is a big issue in the surface. I'm still going to get it graded. We're still going to see what happens with it. Um, but I uh, don't think it's going to come back gym in, unfortunately. It's a little bit more off-centered in person than what it looked like in the images. So top to bottom, probably not going to work out for it. All right, what else we got here? Nice. Got more of these red and yellow Jason Tatums. Optic Rookies, big fan of Jason Tatum, like his game a lot, I think he has done so well without Kyrie Irving in his way, just muddying stuff up, Kyrie just, ugh. he's getting a track record of wherever he goes, just bad things are happening, started in Cleveland and Boston, we'll see how New Jersey works out. Him and KD. We gotta see how that experiment works before we judge. All right, next we got an, another Anthony Davis rookie. So Anthony Davis Brilliance. I love this set. Big fan of this set. You all have seen me buy some of these cards going on, you know, a year and a half already now. Uh, for those who have followed the channel, let's see here. How does that bottom look? Yeah, this card looks really, really good. Very, very good. Okay, next up is. A thick package and it looks like there's a lot of cards in here so let's see what we got I don't recall anything that had a lot of cards but it could be a Beckett purchase it could be let's see here it's from Ohio What in the world did I buy? Oh, I know what these are. All right, yeah. So these, <laughs> this is more freaking Bobo is what it is. <laughs> so I guess this is a breaker who's selling Bobo. And I got some, some like fresh Bobo untouched straight from the breaker's hands. 
So yeah, I've completely forgotten about these. So you had some mosaic, I had some revolution, I had some optic in there. Uh, then let's see. So this is from Fox Breaks. So we got a uh, bowl prism, blue velocity, prism, prism, prism. This is a silver draft. So that one's actually good. Another silver. Then another silver, then a base. Very nice, very nice. Let's see what else we got here. I gotta look and see what these are going for. What level I need to send them in at. So that's a little bit off-centered bubble, but here, centered blue, kind of centered blue, very centered blue. Then the ruby way, very, very nice centered. Uh, yeah, yeah, these are pretty sharp. So yeah, I told you guys I dropped some money on Bowl Bowl. This is my Bowl Bowl package. <clears throat> so I got a lot of Bowl Bowls. Lots of Bowl Bowls. But yeah. All right. So apparently I'm a believer in Bowl Bowl. If Bowl Bowl doesn't work out, then oh well. Uh, just consider it gambled money that didn't work out. But we'll take a look and see what those are going for now in the graded uh, condition. I know they've gone down a little bit, but uh, that is all that I have for this video. I do have a couple more packages to open up, um, probably the same size or same amount. And I will get to that and get that video posted as well. But uh, thank you guys for checking it out. If this is content that you like, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment down below and the like, and I will be happy to you know, interact with you guys just to see what your all's thoughts, what your all's thoughts are and <laughs> what your all's thoughts are on Bowl Bowl and all the other guys that I've bought uh, here. So let me know what you all think. All right, see ya.